Hey guys, it's Lexi Combs and I'm back for another wedding video. Today I'm showing you how I made my acrylic and copper pipe bar menu sign for my wedding. Let's get into it. I'm starting off with this piece of plastic that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's very thin and I drilled some holes into it as you can see, but I my camera actually died during that part. Make sure you put a piece of wood under it. I can do a whole separate video on that because it did take me a while to learn. And then I cleaned it off with some Windex to get it prepared for the vinyl. I started off by designing my sign on Canva.com. It's seriously such an amazing free resource. You guys should definitely use it. I do have the pro version so that I can save them with transparent backgrounds, which just kind of skips a step for Cricut Design Space. But if you don't want to buy that version, no worries. You can definitely make the background transparent in Cricut Design Space. Next, I'm gonna prepare my rose gold foil vinyl. I use the Cricut brand. And before I peel the plastic off of my cutting mat, I went ahead and laid out how much I would need and cut it that way. I find that that's a really easy way to get exactly how much you need. I placed it down on my strong grip mat. I definitely suggest using this for the foil vinyl. Here I'm loading my mat into my Cricut and then letting it do the work. So I often get asked what settings I use. I use custom holographic vinyl and then I put more pressure. It seems to come out really well for your thin lettering and for this holographic or foil vinyl. Now I'm weeding my design. At first I left it on the mat because I thought that would be helpful but I soon realized that it was gonna be a little bit more difficult than I thought. These are super thin letters. It actually comes up fairly easily. You just have to go slow and be careful. I decided to peel it away from the mat so that I could roll up around the letters. Don't worry, this won't mess up your design at all. It's just gonna make it easier to break away from the entire piece of vinyl. So definitely roll them up and it's going to help a lot, especially with these tiny little finicky thin letters. Here I am measuring out where I want my vinyl to go and I'm putting on painter's tape so that I don't have to worry about if it's actually in the center or not because it's already measured out. Now I'm using painter's tape instead of transfer tape because it comes up a lot easier, especially from plastic or acrylic. Um, this particular one was a little bit too sticky, so definitely go with the name brand one, but I cut off the excess on the sides and varnished it really, really well, and it didn't give me any problems at all. I peeled it off and I forgot to film that part, and now I'm just laying it down, trying to get it directly in the center. I had a little trouble with this, but eventually I got it. And then I'm varnishing it again really good onto the piece of plastic and starting to peel it away slowly. Since the letters are super thin, go slowly and make sure that if anything gets caught on the tape, even if you're using regular transfer tape, that you just kind of put it back down, varnish the piece and it will work like a dream. Now that I have my pieces of vinyl on the front. I flipped it over to the back and I started to go over it kind of messy with this paintbrush. I used some pearlescent white paint and it turned out so beautiful. I did have to go over this a few times. Make sure that you're letting it dry in between. I used either three or four coats, I can't remember. While I waited for my first layer of paint to dry, I started to assemble the actual sign itself. For the top part of the sign, I'm using three two foot pieces of copper piping. I got them already cut from the store and two 90 degree elbows to attach them at the top. I used E6000 to glue it into place. It works really well, I've made a lot of these. Now I'm moving on to the base and I'm putting that together. I'm going to leave all of the actual sizing and all of the products that you're gonna need to make this down in the description box below. And definitely make sure that you glue it together so that it's sound and secure. Now I'm going ahead to the second coat of paint. I switched to a sponge brush because the regular paintbrush that I was using before was leaving bristles like in the paint and that wasn't cute. I let the copper piping glue dry overnight and then I tied up my sign using some of this velvet ribbon and it was a little bit difficult to make sure that I was getting it even but eventually I figured it out and it turned out so cute.
Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it and follow me on all my other social medias, TikTok, Instagram, and Pinterest so that you can save this DIY. Have a nice day, guys.